Hi everyone, my name is Shannon Brett. I'm an artist and curator based uh, in Brisbane and this is my lockdown studio, uh, currently my home, which is a three level apartment um, close to Brisbane and um, I don't have anything external at the moment because I've recently relocated. Uh, my work is uh, never really fixed to a medium. Um, I contemplate the work that I want to create and I use uh, whatever materials that um, work for um, my required um, outcome. So um, my work as a curator also really dictates um, by accident or subconsciously um, my visual arts practice. So I'm currently working on um, curating an exhibition about intersectionality um, or black feminism um, in this country, uh, which is um, a subject that's very near and dear to me. Um, and I find myself at the same time building um, this work, uh, which is textile based and um, it's for uh, an exhibition, an upcoming fashion exhibition at Bendigo Art Gallery. I'm really a visual artist, but I love um, working with textiles. So I'm always looking at different ways of presenting um, material um, and materiality. The work uh, that I'm creating for this exhibition, titles to be confirmed, uh, is really informed by the show that I'm creating which is a totally separate project. Um, but I'm constantly informed by all the research that I'm doing um, for this new exhibition about intersectionality and just how proud I am um, by what I'm uncovering and it's really informing the work. So this work here, um, I'm doing a lot of cutting and kind of stencil work um, in this body of work. I usually uh, screen print, which I find is much easier, it works for me, but with the space that I'm confined to at the moment, that's not working. I need a lot of space for screen printing and I don't have an external studio. So I'm working with what I have. And uh, these, uh, uh, these current drawings and cuttings are true phallic representations of um, where the work is going to head. Uh, I used to work as a graphic designer and I find that um, on accident by purpose, on purpose by accident, the work always ends up being quite graphic in the way that it, um, it visually is represented. I do a lot of my own sewing um, because I also make like bags and um, smaller items uh, separately to the brand Law, um, which are kind of uh, little uh, extras that I do every now and again. Um, I used to do a lot of art fairs, um, markets and that kind of thing, but now I just do like a lot of private orders. Uh, which keeps me busy, um, but I love it. I really enjoy it. I love being creative. I love um, being at the sewing machine, but I also have a seamstress um, for when I need to really turn out like big orders for specific items um, because my work is always one-off. They're always one-offs. Um, I do see them as works of art or art pieces. Yeah, so this is just a little bit of my process. At the moment, I'm putting together um, this garment for the exhibition. Um, so now I think what I'll do is I'll just finish this and I'll take you upstairs and you can have a look at my rooftop studio where I do the majority of my printing. Okay, so welcome to my upstairs studio. Uh, this space here is uh, actually the balcony off of my bedroom. It's really quite large, but I just have this little section of the balcony to make and create on. 
and uh, as you can see here this is um, some of my printing that I'm working on at the moment you're looking at quite a lot of vaginas they're unfinished so this work is in progress Bus. so I'm in a, in a city living here so um, this space is really lovely uh, because I can um, change it up as much as I want. The ground floor to the apartment, which is currently being used by my son, he's in class, um, attending uni at the moment, um, is a big art storage um, for me, so in terms of my materials. So when I want to create, I just bring what I need up here, pack it down um, and work on the next thing as I need to. So uh, I'll sew this work here together. This is a skirt and I'm using a new technique. I'm cutting and uh, painting as I go. I use Permacet inks, which are fantastic. They're water-based and I'm used to using those from my work up north and in art centers. I do a lot of screen printing. I've just bought a few screens up here from um, my experimenting over the last couple of weeks. Um, but I've got a lot more screens downstairs. But as I said, I'm doing a lot of um, work with kind of cutouts and um, a lot of tests and like shape work at the moment. So this is kind of vagina situation, which is really fun. And, um, you know, it's great to play and you're always learning. Yeah, so this is uh, my little space upstairs. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you downstairs because my son is in class, but um, I hope you enjoyed.